everyone, this is Christine Walkman. Today on our segment of RRHS, we will be discussing five of the most important ways us humans learn through our five senses. With, of course, the addition of another sense you guys may refer to as kinesthetics or movement. Why don't we start with one of my favorite senses of all, hearing. Thank you, Christine. Hi, my name is Laura Lane. For many people, hearing a new song, learning to pronounce a new word, are some of the ways we learn from hearing. But when you lose that auditorial sense, how do we learn? A majority of deaf, deaf people uh, lose their hearing later on in their life. Sign language is a way for deaf people to learn. Students go to school to learn sign language, and uh, students learn sign language from interacting with their peers. Um, grammar is the same way as any student learn from a regular school. And also deaf people learn uh, um, through vibrations. They either put their hand on their throat and one inch away from their mouth to learn uh, how to speak. And to, if they want to listen to music, they either put their hand on a boombox or a radio to learn the vibration and how it moves. Or either they can look at your lips to know what you're saying and they can interact back with you if you don't know sign language. And that is how deaf people learn. Now we are here with Dr. Rojas, who will be speaking on how touch is used in everyday learning as well. Hi, my name is Melissa and I'm here to talk about the sense of touch. So while your other four senses, sight, hearing, smell, and taste, are located in specific parts of the body, your sense of touch is located all over. Um, this is because your sense of touch originates in the bottom layer of your skin called the dermis. The dermis is filled with which give you info about the brain where the feeling is registered. The nerve ending in your skin tell you if something is hot or cold. They can also feel if something is hurting you or your body. Your body has about 20 different types of nerve endings that all send messages to your brain. However, the most common receptors are heat, cold, pain, and pressure of touch receptors. Pain receptors are probably the most important for your safety because they can protect you by warning your brain that your body is hurt. Just as that happened because somebody threw a pine cone at me. <laughs> I am now hurt. So, some areas of the body are more sensitive than others because they have more nerve endings. Have you ever bitten your tongue and wondered why it hurts so much? It is because they have more nerve endings because it is it is because the sides of your tongue have a lot of nerve endings that are very sensitive to pain. However, your tongue is not good at sensing hot or cold. That is why it is easy to burn your mouth when you eat something really hot. Your fingertips are also very sensitive. People who are blind use their fingertips to read braille by feeling the patterns of raised of raised dots on their paper. And here are some sensational facts to, that I can talk about. You have more pain nerve endings than any other type. And the least sensitive part of your body is the middle of your back. The most sensitive areas of your body are your hands, lips, face, neck, tongue, fingertips, and your feet. And shivering is a way of your body has of trying to get warmer, but it's not very effective in Wisconsin. So there are about 100 touch receptors in each of your fingertips and um, also it helps us with learning to keep away from germs and stuff. So, the so what I'm holding here is a pine cone. That boy threw this pine cone at me. That hurt. The reason <laughs> I know that is because my Arm sense of touch said, said that it hurt. So this helped me learn not to throw pine cones at people because it hurts. And that's my interview. Thank you. Bye, you guys. Dr. Rojas' story is really touching. Now we'll be introducing Taste and Sight. Hello, guys. And today my segment is on taste. Now, do you remember the taste of Grandma's sweet apple pie? The warmth of chocolate sliding down your throat. The coolness of a watermelon. Taste is a very important part of our life. Without taste, we would just be bland and, and boring. And one likes certain things, you know, I like to cook, 
And they're the type of foods that everyone didn't like. This can be like Brussels sprouts or spinach. My favorite. But there's reasons why people don't like this. It could be because the food is nasty, because people didn't cook it right, God forbid, or because they had a bad experience. Um, this bad experience could include having food poisoning or a stomach flu. Now, many people don't like a certain food because they had this bad experience, and this is called taste aversion. Your body does not want to eat that type of food anymore because it thinks that it made you sick. And I had this personal experience before. I can no longer eat chile candy, <gasps> hummus, <gasps> or even tomato and basil chips. <laughs> this is because I had a stomach flu. And now, that was a horrible experience. And my brain remembers that personal experience, and remembering is close to learning. And because I learned from this experience, I can never, ever eat hummus again. Because I'm afraid that I will get sick. And I learned from that experience. There was an experiment done on rats. They injected poison into their food. And all the rats got sick because they ate this food with poison in it. And you can tell that taste aversion is connected to learning because the scientists that put the poison in the rat's food fed them again. But the rats this time knew from learning and knew from experience not to eat that food because they got very sick. And they did not touch it because their body learned from how they got sick and they stayed away from the food that made them sick. The tongue has four taste palettes. Bitter, sour, sweet, and salty. Bitter, sour, sweet, and salty. The tongue is filled with many different types of taste buds. Thousands of them, even. And there is a new study that says that cigarette smoking can cause the taste that taste buds become filled or not even. The study says that cigarette smoking not only causes cancer and cardi cardiovascular disease, it also dulls taste, making food less pleasurable. And um, there was a study that was done that tested the taste buds of many smokers. And it says that the taste buds of the smokers were less dull than the tongues of the non-smokers. According to WebMD says, smoking is, a, is an important <laughs> factor which can lead to the decreased taste sensibility. Close enough.